Ham Tech, welcome back to my videos on the Quansheng UVK1 Mini Kong. Someone asked me, will it do upper sideband? And the answer is yes, if you press menu, like so, and go to number 12, select, and it's FM at the moment, and look, we can select upper sideband and AM. Select and exit, and you'll see it's here, we're on the B band. To go to the B, you can do the A, but to go to the B, just press F, then 2. F2 takes you A and B. So now let's type in the lowest frequency. Now I've been testing this and it's 018 megahertz, which is, you know, without the SI4732 chip added, I feel like that's pretty much the same as the UVK5. Like I said, we've got the F4HWN software on here. You can do the whole unlock thing by turning the device off, press and hold the, this button, the PTT and the button underneath, turn on let go and you're in the unlock thing now look straight away menu and then you can look at the different things that you can unlock fcc ham there's those bands cb ham ce ham gb ham okay if you keep going down gmrs frs and unlock all and it says read the manual so <laughs> fair enough um, so there's your options for unlocking. Otherwise, you've got the normal VHF, UHF. You press F, A, B. You're on the A band. If you go, want to go to VFO, F, VFO. And you can type a frequency now. And um, yeah, all your CTCS, CTCS is in there. And usually the squelch is 56, which I think is a very high place to put it. Um, and it's 56. There you go, squelch. And the step is menu, if we go the other way, is 01. CTCSS and all that's in there. Saving memories on the fly, you can definitely do that. And uh, save channels on the fly. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's like a posh version. It has a larger memory chip, two megabytes for more memory channels. Uh, <coughs> nice case. And um, if we go menu, just go back to 12, um, select, change it, and it won't transmit on AM, by the way. X, that's 145600. So all we need to do is make sure we've got a tone in, and we should open our repeater. We've got our, uh, my external antenna connected just on, on an SMA adapter here. CTCSS is 94.8. And yeah, receiving that, no problem at all. Lots of information on the screen. And this, with this firmware, you can actually view this on my PC. This screen, you can view it on my PC. There you go. And if I uh, just change on the radio, come on. Big thanks to Armel. Excellent. You can even change the color. Let's do the O and the B. Just pressing the O and the B on my keyboard. And uh, there's going to be new versions. Thanks for watching. And this is a visual thing. At the moment, I can't hear it. I want to be able to connect using my USB-C. And then that would be, I'd be able to hear the radio. But at the moment, I'm just finding that when I do it that way, uh, it will do other things. Uh, but it, it's I can't see the frequency. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.